Welcome to Random Mind Spark. Ever wondered why some birds, despite having wings, can't fly? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and bird enthusiasts alike for centuries, and the answer lies in the fascinating world of flightless birds. Among the roughly 10,000 bird species that populate our planet, a small yet remarkable fraction have evolved without the ability to fly. Picture the charismatic penguins of Antarctica waddling on ice and swimming with agility in icy waters, or the swift-footed ostriches sprinting across the African savanna. And let's not forget the elusive kiwis navigating New Zealand's forests in the dead of night. These are but a few examples of the diverse and captivating species of flightless birds. Now, you might be wondering, why can't these birds fly despite having wings? It's a complex question with intriguing answers rooted in evolution, survival strategies, and the mechanics of flight. So let's delve into the world of these unique creatures and unravel this mystery together. Contrary to what some may believe, flightlessness in birds is not a disadvantage, but an evolutionary adaptation. Now, you might ask, what is an evolutionary adaptation? Well, it's a process where an animal's body changes over many generations to better survive in its environment. And yes, this includes our feathered friends who've swapped their ability to fly for other survival skills. Consider penguins, for instance. These birds live in the harsh cold of Antarctica. Over time, their wings evolved into flippers, better suited for swimming and diving into icy waters for food rather than soaring through the sky. They've traded flight for the ability to swim up to 15 miles per hour and dive as deep as 1,600 feet. Then we have the famous ostrich, the world's largest bird. Native to the hot and sparse savannas of Africa, ostriches evolved to be speedy runners instead of flyers. Their long muscular legs allowed them to outrun most predators, reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour. And their wings? They're now used for balance while running and for courtship displays. Now, let's talk about the kiwi, a bird native to New Zealand. This little bird has a keen sense of smell, a rarity among birds, which it uses to find food on the forest floor. The kiwi's wings are almost non-existent, having evolved to be so small because flying isn't necessary in their predator-free habitat. You see, flightlessness doesn't happen overnight. It's a slow process that takes place over millions of years as birds adapt to their surroundings, whether it's the chilly waters of Antarctica, the vast savannas of Africa, or the dense forests of New Zealand. These birds have evolved to thrive in their unique environments. So, it's not that these birds have lost something, but rather they have adapted in a different way. Isn't evolution fascinating? To understand why some birds can't fly, we need to look at the mechanics of bird wings. Bird wings are a marvel of natural engineering. They're designed for flight, with a shape and size that are optimized for gliding through the sky. The wing's leading edge is thicker, curving down towards the trailing edge, creating an airfoil shape. This shape helps generate lift, the force that counteracts gravity and keeps a bird aloft. The size of a bird's wings also plays a crucial role. Larger wings can generate more lift enabling larger birds to fly. But these wings must be strong enough to withstand the stresses of flight, which is where the intricate structure of bird bones comes into play. Bird bones are hollow and lightweight, yet incredibly strong, providing the necessary support without weighing the bird down. Now, let's compare this to the wings of flightless birds. At first glance, you might think they're just smaller versions of the wings of flying birds. But look closer and you'll see key differences. Take the kiwi, for instance. Its wings are tiny, almost invisible beneath its fluffy feathers. They're not shaped for flight and they're certainly not large enough to generate lift. The kiwi's bones are also solid, not hollow, making them heavier and less suited for flight. Or consider the penguin with its flipper-like wings. They're great for swimming, but they lack the airfoil shape needed for flight. Penguins also have solid bones, which helps them dive deep in the ocean, but doesn't do them any favors in the air. These are just a few examples, but the pattern is clear. 
Flightless birds have wings that are shaped and sized differently from those of flying birds. Their bones are heavier and less optimized for flight. Their wings might serve other purposes like balance or courtship displays, but they're not designed for soaring through the sky. So even though they have wings, the structure and function of these wings are not suited for flight. Despite their inability to fly, flightless birds have other skills that are equally amazing. Let's take a moment to appreciate these remarkable creatures and their unique adaptations. First up, we have the ostrich, the world's largest bird. Unable to take to the skies, this towering bird has instead mastered the art of speed. With powerful, long legs, an ostrich can reach impressive speeds, outpacing even the fastest humans. It's a sight to behold as they kick up dust, racing across the plains with a grace that belies their size. Next, we delve beneath the ocean's surface to find the penguins. Penguins may be flightless in the air, but underwater, they're practically flying. With their streamlined bodies and flippers, they glide and dive through the water with ease, catching their fishy meals with precision and agility. Their underwater acrobatics are a testament to their adaptability. Finally, let's talk about emus. These Australian natives may not have the speed of an ostrich or the underwater grace of a penguin, but they've got strength in their legs that's second to none. These powerful limbs not only enable them to run at a good clip, but also deliver a kick strong enough to deter any would-be predators. Though they might not soar in the sky, flightless birds certainly have their own unique ways to thrive in their environments. So, in the end, being flightless isn't a handicap for these birds, but rather a testament to the diverse ways life can adapt and thrive. We've journeyed through the enigmatic realm of flightless birds, delving into their evolutionary tales and understanding the mechanics behind their wings. These birds are not mere anomalies, but rather vibrant threads in the intricate tapestry of life. They showcase the breathtaking beauty of biological diversity. Next time you spot a flightless bird, remember, it's not missing out on flight, it's just playing the game of life a little differently. Enjoyed our insight into flightless birds? Keen on more natural world mysteries? Don't forget to like the video before you go. Your likes help us and others discover more. Don't miss out on the next Random Mind Spark adventure. Hit subscribe for more exciting videos. Click the bell for instant updates on our fresh content. Thanks for watching and keep curious. Together, let's delve deeper into the wonders of life on our planet.